Aquarius, this is your weekly reading for May. Let's go ahead and jump in with each other. Today we be, will be using, today we will be using the Zodiac 108 by Intuit Oracle. You can order this deck on her website, okay? Let's go ahead and jump in with each other and see what messages here for you. Hope all of you guys are doing well out there, Aquarius, taking care of yourself. I appreciate you guys coming back to watch your reading. So we're going to be uh, breaking down the reading here, Aquarius, today. Uh, we're going to look at uh, the beginning of the week, the middle of the week, and the end of the week here. All right. If you guys like the way that I'm reading for this week, go ahead and leave a comment down below and thumbs up the video if it resonates with you here. Make sure you check your moon rising and Venus sign as well to get a complete picture of what's going on with your with you okay this week i'm gonna concentrate on the cards a little bit aquarius what's going on midweek for aquarius thank you spirit okay All right, we all are all, um, I don't know why I'm so tongue-tied, excuse me. We are also, look at you, your energy looks good. You have the hangman coming in, but you also have Will of Fortune. So some uh, delay, okay, some standstill or delay in your life. Um, it will be temporary here, okay? It will be temporary. Some delay will be temporary in your life. Things will move forward here very soon. If you guys have been um, experiencing delays in your life here, it won't last. Look at that. It won't last. Aquarius. That's the beginning of the week. Midweek. And the end of the week. My nose is tickly. Um, that always happens. <laughs> When information is coming in, but holy aces, okay? You guys have some good energy here. I will call it 1111. That's what I'm seeing here in spirit is really connecting with you, okay? They're also telling me about the law of attraction as well, what you're thinking about, what you're feeling, the energy that you're putting out to the universe here is really calling in what you truly want. So keep that in mind here this week. Uh, to begin the week, you guys have heart and home. You also have library that is coming in here. So some memory, some thought that you had possibly in your childhood uh, when you were younger here. Spirit wants you to dive back into that energy of being curious again. That's what I feel they're saying here. Be curious again. Read, research, uh, read books, watch documentaries here. Gain knowledge, learn here. Sort of like the Hierophant card. Um, really feel your pastime with um, reading, writing, and looking beneath the surface here when it comes to situations in your life okay they also want you to cultivate peace in your life here as much as you can Aquarius and, and stay drama free I've been saying that quite often in my readings stay drama free here okay but they're wanting you to focus this week especially in the beginning of the week on your heart's desires I'm seeing this here with the ace of wands that's showing up the seven of swords and the five of pentacles that is showing up for you so some of you guys you may not feel like you're at the place where you need to be at this time but something new a new adventure a new idea a new spark of interest is going to uh overtake you here this week loves and i definitely feel like spirit does not want you to block your blessings don't sabotage uh what is coming in for you this blessing and really go towards change or focus on change and um what, what makes you happy? Doing things that make you happy here, okay? Or that you may be interested in. The Ace of Wands really, or the Wands period really talks about your uh, career or your reputation, your business if you have one or if you want to create one here. Just being very creative and being very driven to um, bring in change in your world here, okay? So going after what you want, Ace of Wands energy that I'm seeing here. They're also uh, warning you to put up healthy boundaries on, and don't let others sabotage uh, your um, your badass energy. <laughs> 
don't let others sabotage it here okay really look beyond the surface or beneath the surface here uh in regards to new connections or things that you may question relationships that you may question okay some of you guys may be met with some challenges here possibly uh with the um yeah issue <laughs> some of you guys may be dealing with another aquarius here coming in all right uh moon and aquarius so you guys may be dealing with a cancer or a uh, capricorn that's what i'm saying or taurus uh but challenges hierophant card in the reverse position if this is not challenges with someone else this is you challenging or needing to challenge yourself um or you creating challenges all on your own here um that stop your drive, stop you from going to uh, where you want to go in your life or doing the things that you need to do in your life here, okay? I also feel like uh, you may be setting up for yourself here with the Seven of Swords energy, guarding yourself, protecting yourself here. Uh, the Hierophant card is letting me know that you are focused on freedom or freeing yourself here from uh, old beliefs, old systems. Um, that you have outgrown or you no longer believe in hierophant card okay you're kind of that rebel <laughs> you're that badass unconventional uh non-conformity here okay that's your energy that is coming in all right what else is coming up here for aquarius you have the three of cups here i see you spending time with people that you love socializing Focusing on smiling more uh, or collaborating and working with new people here. Some of you guys may be invited to work on a project or a team here. And you show up as a star, okay, with the six of wands that's showing up here. Victory over your challenges. Um, yeah, and it's because you are paving your own path here. You're doing your own thing. You're a total badass, okay? So some of you guys will be reaching major milestones here um, and get recognition for it. That's what I'm saying. By midweek, you guys have winter and you have uncertain that is showing up for you here. So something is happening within 9 to 12 months. <laughs> That's what Spirit is saying. There may be a period where you're feeling uncertain here about a situation or about a person here or an opportunity that comes up for you. Spirit is saying on this card at this time, the situation or outcome is undetermined. What is this? It may be a connection, a relationship that you're struggling with. Two of swords, five of swords that's showing up for you. Um, but like I said, uh, seeing the the hangman and the wheel of fortune, these delays or this uncertainty or this dark cloud above your head will not last for long here, okay? The ace of pentacles is coming in with new offers or clarity. That's what I'm feeling uh, with the ace of pentacles, right? Five of swords is showing up here. You may have some disagreements with other people. Um, some of you guys may try to close yourself off. That's what I'm feeling. Or don't not deal with that energy or not deal with a person. Okay. Could be a friend, family member, lover that I'm seeing here. Okay. I see you closing yourself off and focusing on new possibilities here in your life. And I feel like this energy here, I know this is a weekly reading, but they're expanding it here. By midweek, you're doing something. Okay. That is going to make you question in the future whether that was the right choice and your car just flipped in the upright position okay uh you you kind of put yourself first you're putting yourself first not kind of you're putting yourself first clarifying these cards with the empress card you're focused on your own nurture nurture you're focused on nurturing yourself you're focused on um your own creativity and going towards new opportunities i feel like there may be travel or you guys relocating or moving out of uh, a home with someone here uh separating yourself giving yourself time to find out who you truly are and follow fall in love with yourself again here aquarius that's that's something that i'm feeling <sighs> you have the hangman coming in reverse resisting um uncertainty lack of focus what is going on stalling here the 
this energy here is kind of weird okay you got the queen of swords that is coming in here so the queen of swords is saying damn it make a decision okay aquarius make a decision on this situation or this person here okay not making a decision is making a decision here the hangman in the upright position as we saw before is just taking a moment to gain a new perspective or it could be an awakening or epiphany or a release you letting go and allowing yourself to move forward um but in the reverse position here in this uncertainty card it makes me feel like when something stops you stop okay what is this let's clarify this a little bit more what is this energy here for Aquarius? Why is this uncertainty here midweek? And what is going on in 9 to 12 months? I just read for Libra and I feel like you guys, you either have Libra in your chart or you're dealing with a Libra here, okay? And childbirth came out for them. For some of you guys, it is a child. And you're worried, okay? Some of you guys may become pregnant or your uh, your lover or your significant other, your love interest may become pregnant, whoever I'm talking to out there. But there is a, a child that is coming into your world here. And there's a lot of uncertainty for you about how you're going to provide for this child or co-parent with this other person here i feel like there's a lot of thought in that there's a lot of worry and uncertainty in that as well but the ace of pentacles is saying don't be afraid of this change good fortune is here for you beautiful things are about to happen to you and happen for you okay you have fine print that is showing up for you they're saying don't assume get facts read between the lines double check information double check what someone is saying to you look closer there's some details that you are missing here this may not be some, you giving birth okay this may be someone else that your partner has or is dealing with that is about to give birth as well or will become pregnant here okay something you're going to find out later on okay you have fortress coming in. You also have kerosene. Kerosene, you know what that is. Put in gas to the fire. Okay, so fortress and kerosene here. Yeah, this is going to be a hot situation that you're going to be going through. Unpredictable. Um, yeah, something's going to be ignited. So that's what your cards are saying. Some of you guys are dealing with a Taurus here. Taurus. So, man, I, I definitely feel like you're going to have to have a strong backbone. <laughs> like your fortress card is giving to me. You have to have a strong backbone here to deal with some situation, okay? Uh, that you're going to have to be unbreakable here. Um, in your faith that you will be okay. If that is you uh, in this situation or a situation that you're going to have to be dealing with, you have to be unbreakable, okay? And they're saying hold down the fort, hold down the fortress here, okay? By the end of this week, you guys have Symphony Emerald and you also have eyeglasses that's showing up for you here, Aquarius. So... By the end of the week, you're going to figure out that you have to focus on your own healing. You have to uh, work on your um, loving yourself more. Work on your heart chakra. Focus on bringing in more harmony and stability towards yourself. Um, some of you guys may have important conversations with your person here as well. About how things will be worked out between you two if there is a child coming in some of you guys don't resonate with that and that's fine but the eyeglasses is telling you here to be observant evaluate your options look closer focus and check the details they're saying this again along with the midweek would fine print look closer focus on the details okay don't assume hidden information so something is hidden from you, either about your person here um, and another person, third party that they may be dealing with here. Um, 
and this is something that you have to look closer into clarifying your cards you have the judgment card the four of wands and you also have the magician card here that is showing up for you these readings have been very interesting we're going to clarify this okay again spirit is wanting you to focus on bringing in balance in your own world here and possibly releasing a situation or releasing a person here judgment card for some of you you have outgrown this situation here you've outgrown this person here some of you you have you're feeling like You feel it, you're feeling like you lack a direction. Your self-esteem may be low here. Um, yeah, you're doing a lot of evaluating. What is going on with you guys out here? My air signs are getting it. My heart goes out to you guys if you resonate with this reading here. But you have the Ace of Swords coming in the reverse position. You have the Ace of Coins coming in the reverse position. So if you're planning on someone working with you, resolving an issue with you, building a home with you, protecting you, focusing on stability for you and your family, someone may not be there to do that. They may be more interested on what they can gain here, the Magician card. Another message that I'm getting here is that you have to step up to the plate here, okay? You need to focus on your own healing. You need to go through um, a reflective period here, reevaluate uh, what you're doing here? Why are you not cutting? Why are you not cutting someone off here? Why are you not releasing them here? Okay, because I feel in some way with the Ace of Swords, you're not cutting something or someone out of your life here in order to create stability for yourself here, Aquarius. All right. Uh, for my other Aquarius, someone is dishonest with you. Block communication. Someone may block you or ghost you. That's what I'm feeling here. They stop communicating with you, which makes the relationship very unstable. But this person may be only focused on themselves, like I said, in greed. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. They stop giving to you, stop communicating with you. Once they figure out or doesn't matter why they are doing it, they're doing it here, okay? I feel like there may be someone in the picture or they are just afraid of responsibility and really going deeper in this connection and shit has got really real and <laughs> in this connection and they're not ready for it here. Okay, so yeah, there are secrets being held or there are secrets here. Uh, that's something else that is coming in with the high priestess that is showing up for you what are these secrets what what else does aquarius need to know i feel like it's hard for you guys it's hard for you at this moment to make a decisive to make a decisive decision to make an informed decision here because someone has blocked communication blocked you off cut you off here and your judgment is clouded at this moment okay you have the queen of wands coming in a reverse position here yeah mm -hmm. and there may be someone else here that's what i'm feeling with this uh this energy that is coming in and this person may be very demanding of your person's energy and time and attention here. And they're pulling them away from you. That's the energy that I'm seeing here for some of you. For the rest of you, I'm seeing that you feel like you have lost your power, that you have done something wrong here. But I definitely feel like Spirit is saying, no, this may be just a lesson for you here, Aquarius, with the Judgment card. And this is the time for your rebirth, for you to uh, emerge stronger and wiser right now at this moment and take care of yourself especially with the uh emerald card you may be more of a mature lover than this person is a mature person uh than they are okay if it's not a lover for you guys but uh the focus needs to be back on you that's what i feel here this week and if this expands over the next several weeks remember to come back and watch this reading and this is what this means for you to focus on your own stability to focus on creating a life for yourself that is uh cultivating more harmony and peace um 
and you giving to yourself here not second guessing yourself listen to your intuition basically your intuition is warning you of something it's cautioning you of some situation here okay aquarius ace of pentacles here in reverse that you deserve more all right so they're really wanting you to uh focus on change changing yourself inside and out okay that was a deep reading and you guys let me know how you feel about this reading i have read for all eyes and all of you guys have been getting it here this week and over the next several weeks you've had a, a quite a few challenges here my heart goes out to all of you guys if you resonate with this message make sure you guys subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell and leave me a comment down below i will talk to you guys later bye